Some people have asked about the equipment we use, you know, to get our sound. So, you know, for me, this would be interesting. For some people, not so much. Yeah, usually, like, when I'm studying a certain drummer, like, I'd like to first, like, start off with the drummer, like, what they have, and expand from there, which my two drummers so far have been Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Never heard of him. And when I, when I was studying him back <laughs> in the day, I had, like, the double kicks, the four toms, the two floor toms, and then I started studying Bonham. Which I don't, I don't say what band he's from. Bonham. Mm -hmm. Bonham. Bonham. And uh, so I went and I got the when I when we had the money we got the Zep set. But the thing about this one is it's you know since Bonham was it was heavy and that's what I was listening to and studying at that time I got this and what's different is well, obviously the kick the kick is a 26 inch so this is a lot taller. Dude, that is quite a large kick, dude. Yeah. That causes a big what? It's definitely it's more boomy and it's boomier and more punchy, I think. It's I didn't actually, think it was punchier, man. I thought it was bassier. It is, but it's, it's thinner in too, so it, it gives it a different sound. Okay, this and uh, you and um, uh, Tommy Lee, he he has a gigantic, not not the fake ones, yeah. but he does have a big tall kick that he always used. Yeah, Tommy Lee, huh? Well, <laughs> so what? You think he's not a good drummer? Oh Anyways. my god. Oh yeah, well, you know what? You know, maybe you could borrow, I don't know, 1% of his money and you could live the rest of your life on it. Uh, who's How's doing this sound? thing? You or me? Anyways, this thing I think I think this one's 12, although like the one you're supposed to be using is 13. Really? Yeah, and then I'd like to put it on a snare stand instead of having that kind of stand, so which um funny thing about this kick is if you if you end up having two toms, like a normal kick, you can't put the other tom above it. It's it's way too freaking high, so and you got 16 by 18, 18 by 18, so these are... Well, I like that 18 by 18, dude. <laughs> and then as for heads, all these things which are, it's kind of unique, is that it's coated emperor on top. Hold on, let me catch up. Okay. But then on the bottom, it's also coated. This is coated ambassador. Most people don't have coated on top of the bottom? Right, usually on the bottom, it's, it's clear, but this gives it, it's a really thick sound, so... Oh. And then, um, opposite of Lars, which was a wet sound. These are this is actually a dry sound. And like everything else, which is big, this is this is a 20 inch medium. It's a pasty 2002. It's pasty. I call it pasty. It's pasty. Yeah, dude, I love the sound of these. See, let me see your stick. So this is. See how dry it is. It's like dark. That adds something to it. Yeah. This is 18 inch. Same same thing. <laughs> Okay, dude, what you over, got for the hi hatage Yeah, over here we have, um, this is also pasty. I don't, I don't know if I'd get this exact kind. Uh, it was just what they had at the store. This is 14 inch, but uh, what I'd want to get would be a 15 inch, and this is also dry. And then, uh, look down here at this bad boy. This is how Earth was recorded with that. Earth, our first CD. Yeah. <laughs> All beat up. Hey, dude, there's a chip in there. Oh, nice. Hey, I was adding some special sounds, yeah. man. Your little thing to put on the hi hats. So that tells you how long I've had these freaking hi hats. So you don't use a double, you don't use a double kick pedal. No, I have a double kick pedal. Okay, that's I your. Just, I don't use it that much. Well, what double kick pedal is it? Uh, this is DW five thousand. A lot of people use that. Yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's it's got a lot of power to it. For like a month, I took away the left kick, practiced without it, and then I put it back on just for accents. Oh yeah, last thing is also the the ride. This is a dry Zildjian. But what I want to get, this is a 21, I'd want to get a 24. Really? So, yeah. All right, man, well, show us what you mean here, um, some of these sounds. Yeah, so what you're going to be hearing from this is, like, all this stuff is going to be really low, and these cymbals are going to be dry, especially, you know, this hi-hat. It's, it's, like, almost, like, 70s sounding. So really? Basically, like the you know, the bottom sound, I guess, and then from there I'll just go and tweak it. Like this is custom. This is this is a Tama snare, so you know I would definitely custom the snare. I like the Tama, the uh, Ludwig snare as much. Well, we got a uh, a Beta 52, which I don't really like. It kind of muddies the sound a bit. A Shure Beta 52 on the kick. There's no hole on that bad boy. Yeah, in yeah, it's another thing that that uh, Bonham did, and not a lot of drummers do. Is what? It? There's no port. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, hit that kick for a second. Yeah, it's like bassy and punchy. Yeah, definitely. The snare, I, 
the snare, I got up really high. I got 5A, big first. So these ones are a little bit skinnier. You can go a little harder. Oh, you faster. don't use 5B. A lot of people use 5B, man. Right, that's the standard, but you, you can go faster with these. As for hardware, I don't, I don't even really know. I think your hardware is fixed. Tama. There's Tama. And There's Ludwig. Yeah. And this is Tama, but this thing's broke. I think Marco broke it when he kicked it or something like that. I did break it. <laughs> I kicked it. Yeah, man. And then I got brushes, but I don't use those. And I got, I got these, which I you got to use on. You Pick know. that up. So that gives a heck of a soft sound. We use that on like God and Incense and uh, a few a few songs like that from All our right, first dude. album.